Hello, and welcome to The Fox Fix. I'm Cece Fox, your host. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Y'all ready? Let's do it. First up, we are talking about Selling Sunset. Okay, so their publicist team, publicist team and PR team is out there working because they are everywhere right now. It's, I believe, their fourth season and it is a good show. I started watching it. There's so many ups and downs and different ideas and obviously they are making money selling multi-million dollar homes and it is just so exciting to see the ins and outs of it. So um, from beginning to end, you know, um, Chris Shell, she's a big player in the game and there's Christine and there's Mary and there's all these other people that are in there and just doing their thing. It is like, what in the flip and flop is going on here, Heather? You know, so everybody is everywhere. Amanza, I love her. It's just crazy. Jason and Chris Shell are starting to date. Brett's in there working his magic and everybody's just fantastic. I cannot believe it. I don't know who's going to stay, who's going to go. There's more people. Emma, Davina. I mean, it is crazy. You guys got to see this. I think it's going to be an even bigger hit this next season. And speaking of Chriselle, her ex, you know, filed for divorce on the show. Uh-huh. This is Us star Justin Hartley just recently got married. Well, everybody from the crew from This Is Us is talking about their final season and how heartbreaking it is to not be working with these people anymore because they feel like it, it is family. Uh, Justin says, uh, when they asked him about his Christmas traditions, he said that he is just going to stare at his wife, Sophia. He said, she's just an amazing and beautiful person. I'm so lucky to have her and I just want to stare at her. So... Chriselle and him obviously weren't a match made in heaven. Maybe uh, Justin and Sophia and Chriselle and Jason is what, you know, the final answer is there. Who knows? Let's see how that all goes down. But this is us final season beginning January 4th. And everybody on the show is so sad to be um, ending. I was lucky enough. My cousin Mario and I was lucky enough to film a episode of This Is Us in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I was able to meet one of my bestest friends there um, on the crew, Josh. Hey, homie. Yes, I love everybody that I've worked with. Um, I just think that uh, filming is such an amazing thing to be a part of, and you meet some really great friends, and it is so fun. So I can't get wait to get back to the acting world. But for now, I'm here with you on the Fox Fix. Ooh, 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 ooh. I just love you guys so much. So yes, yeah, so there's Selling Sunset. Then we have uh, This Is Us. And then we're talking Ben and Jen. And he kind of said that if he was still with Jennifer Gardner, that he would still be drinking. But I don't think he meant it in that context. I just kind of feel like, you know when the relationship isn't right for you. You know, they may be the perfect person, but they may not be perfect for you. And I just feel like if he was drinking, it's because he hadn't dealt with things of, you know, for him. And if him and Jennifer Lopez are a better match, well, you know, who's to stand in the way of true love, you know? So let's see what happens with them. Uh, I think he just did a little thing saying, you know, if I didn't fix myself, I was going to still be drinking. But uh, as the tabloids have shown, Jennifer Garner has been there for Ben Affleck. And I just hope that they can... Uh, Ben and Jen and Jen and Ben and all of them can work everything out and uh, you know what's meant to be will be. Yes. Now for your favorite part, this week's beauty fix. This week's beauty fix, I'm going to talk to you about something that I just found out about. Okay, this is crazy, but bear with me. Wood ash. Okay, like it is the first natural dry shampoo. Yep. Like from the whole on. Crazy, right? So they say to just make sure that it is wood that is, you know, doesn't have any chemicals in it and stuff like that. Nowadays, that's really hard to find, but natural wood. And I guess if you dab it and kind of like that, that absorbs oil, it's used for so many things. Look this up. You will be so surprised. I mean, they even like filter water with um, some wood ash, you know, um, Whiten teeth, obviously, but I would say, you know, buy the toothpaste that's a natural one. They already did all the work for you. 
I mean, there was so many things. It was so exciting to read about it. So you gotta check it out. I mean, it absorbs oil from like your driveway, from cars and stuff. It does so many things, but beauty wise, it has been known a long time to do so many things. Life wise, I mean, they said that it even helps with like um, an injury and a blood clot and stuff like that. And it's just wild. Look it up. Uses for, you know, wood ash. So, hey, go to the hole and get some dry shampoo. Get it going, y'all. <laughs> of course, make sure that the fire is out before you use any of these things, you know, make sure it's not hot, you silly gooses. Well, that has been your beauty fix, and this has been your fox fix.